How's it going, everyone? It's Leo Beers with Cowbell Kingdom. And yes, I have a smile on my face because the Kings played very well in front of a national audience tonight. They pulled out the victory 99 to 97. Before I give you my three takeaways, let's take a look at what DeMarcus Cousins and George Carl had to say after the game. It was a bit of mixed emotions. The coach was a bit unhappy. DeMarcus was content. Let's take a look. I'm sure the video will show good stuff. Third quarter, the beginning of the third quarter was big time, and then the end of the third quarter is we let up. We take, the, we take our foot off the gas, and the momentum just turns on us, and I don't think we value, you know, leads. <laughs> leads are there to play smart and solid. Uh, teams run by us a little bit. It's a win. It's a good win. All wins are good in the NBA. And I'll probably get over this and be okay tomorrow. I mean, it's just happening, but I feel like it just clicked at the same time. Uh, I mean, we preached and preached and preached about it, about the mistakes we're making. So um, I think it's finally starting to click, but at the same time, we got to stay consistent in what we're doing. As we can see, there were a bit of mixed emotions from George Carl and DeMarcus Cousins. George Carl was a bit upset about how his team finished the game. I think any coach would be, especially when you're up by 19 points. But the good thing is, like DeMarcus said, we closed out the game. It was a great team effort. Uh, we have seen this team choke in big stretches. Charlotte, OKC, just to name a few. DeMarcus said, hey, this team is beginning to click, and that's always a good thing coming from your leader. Now, let's move on to my three takeaways. My first takeaway was, wow, Rajon Rondo had a phenomenal dunk. He brought the house down. I had no idea he had that in his arsenal still. I mean, I haven't seen him dunk the entire season. I haven't seen him dunk in practice. The guy really brought the house down. It was a great electrifying moment in the game. A lot of his teammates after the game were very happy about him, for him, excuse me. And yeah, we should take a look at what they had to say about his dunk. That's my first time seeing him dunk this season. Like, I mean, it's definitely gonna bring energy to the game. So uh, I think I, I deserve a lot of credit for that because I got him open. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, he's playing. I mean, I I can't really name a, I mean, besides Steph, I can't name a point guard playing better basketball than him right now. So, uh, I mean, he deserves everything that's coming from him. I think Rondo in general is a pretty good player. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> he's fun to play with. Oh, he's a phenomenal, really. Um, Mike, what's up? You know, I just enjoy every second. I'm always ready, and it's fun to play with. My second takeaway is obviously the defense. They kept the Knicks under 100 points. They kept Perzingas under 15 points. The kid, the rookie sensation, came into this game hot. Omri Caspi and a couple of his teammates made it very difficult on him tonight. It was a great sign. It was fun to watch, honestly, uh, from a Perzingas fan that I am. It was nice to see the guy in person. He's so much bigger. Um, he is obviously very skilled. DeMarcus Cousins praised him after the game. Omri Caspi also praised him after the game. He obviously has a couple things to learn as an NBA basketball player, but overall the guy can flat out ball. My third takeaway is confidence. His team is on a two game win streak. They don't play until Tuesday, so the team will have time to bond, make adjustments on defense, possibly get DeMarcus in better shape. He's been hurt, the back, the Achilles, so it hasn't been easy for DeMarcus. Hopefully these couple of days help him out a lot. And if they can somehow find a way to win on Tuesday, that'll be a great sign moving forward and heading into a very tough road trip in late December. Those are my three takeaways. Hopefully you guys enjoyed them. It was a hell of a game tonight. And make sure to follow Cowbell Kingdom on YouTube, Instagram, like us on Facebook. We're always putting out great stories, great content. Thank you guys so much, and thank you guys for the support. I'm Leo Biaz.